the next uh, issue that I wanted to uh, look at. Um, I, I wanted to spend some time uh, pursuing the first dot point and to put you in, in the position of where you reflect on how you would coach some of your peers to implement the high reliability strategies. So, you know, how are you going to go about uh, tackling this? Uh, if you look in today's notes on, on page uh, two, three and four, I've provided uh, three, three content areas. Now, what I'm suggesting is, if possible, at each table, people work in pairs, and that each pair take one of those lessons. And what I'd like you to do is to plan how you're going to actually teach the rest of the people at your table both the content and the high reliability strategy. Now, there are two different aspects of the teaching, as you know, and I'll review these in a moment. One is the scaffolding, and the second is teaching the strategy to independence. So, at each table, if we just for a moment visualise the outcome, each pair of people at each table will probably have no more than five minutes to scaffold the rest of the, st the students at the table to use two of the strategies. Is this okay? And that uh, for the same text, you will have certainly no more than five minutes to uh, scaffold the rest of the people to learn to do it independently. Now, the two strategies to target for independence, I'm suggesting, are the, um, the, the uh, getting knowledge ready and the vocabulary. This is all written down in, in your notes. And I'm suggesting you scaffold the people at your table to paraphrase, visualise. You won't have time to do all this, so you can either pick paraphrasing and visualising or questioning and summarising. So probably in, a, in 10 or 15 minutes, it'd be great if everyone could start to do that. Now, before we begin that, I would like at each table a discussion about how you're going to evaluate everyone at the table. How will you evaluate the scaffolding teaching? What will you look for to decide if the scaffolding teaching is effective or not? Now, if we were going to pursue that, if you're the student, so if we're talking about evaluating the scaffolding, uh, if it is working, and if it's not working, if it is working, how will you tell? If the scaffolding for you to paraphrase is working, what's it going to be doing? I'm, see, I'm wanting to put you in the position of the learners so that you can come backwards from the learners to the teaching. Come on, what's it going to be doing? Mark? Okay, so one, so one outcome is that they'll be able to say the ideas in their own words. Now, that's an outcome. One thing that the scaffolding needs to do, if it's for paraphrasing, is to help me link parts of the sentence with words that I know. So how effectively will the teaching, how effectively, it'll be wonderfully effective, but how effectively will Linda's teaching be to get me to link words in the text with words that I know. If we're talking about paraphrasing, 
Before we begin to link with words, though, we have to decide where to break the sentence. You're going to be paraphrasing a sentence. And one of the key things about paraphrasing a sentence is, first of all, knowing which, where to start. And where did we say it was a good place to start? With the? Good. Very good. We'll start with the verb or the verb phrase. Now, these are year seven texts. I wanted a text that wasn't that was midway between primary and secondary. So these are year seven texts. So when you're looking at the paraphrasing, your, your scaffolding will need to help me to learn where to start. In each case, whatever the strategy is, I'm going to need to know where to start. And you're also going to need uh, and all of the strategies involve linking. If you think about meaning making motor, it's linking. If you think about getting knowledge ready, they're all to do with linking. Uh, linking in different ways. In fact, we even call the third step of getting knowledge ready bridging to the text, linking. So they're all to do with linking in different ways. One aspect of evaluating you know, your colleagues' teaching is for you to decide how well it is helping you to link. It helps you to link. So, as a student, I need to know where to start each time. I need to be able to link, and I also need time to think, don't I? So, this is really, really the scaffolding. The talk has to be to, to, to scaffold, and it also uh, So, when I was talking about uh, the example with the, the boy yesterday, visualising about the Berlin business, about the two children being away, I was really wanting to scaffold him to use his existing image and to put more stuff into it. To put into it all the blue sea in between, Australia and over there. That's why Ben and Daniel couldn't come over there was 4,000 miles between them. That's why it wasn't easy to come over tomorrow and play. And I wanted his image to show that. There were, and that's where we got that. No chance, Tom. No chance. So that's the sort of scaffolding we're needing our teaching to do. So it would be useful, I think, for at each table. I've got my own list, obviously. But at each table, for you to put together how you're going to evaluate the teaching of each other. And if you do it collegiately, you know then what to target in your teaching. Is this okay? So you, um, if we spend, say, 10 or 15 minutes, or no, perhaps no more than 10, 10 minutes putting together some key things you will look for in the teaching, uh, and then we'll work through and see how we'll use the text to make opportunities for teaching the uh, strategies. Because the third thing that you have to be able to do with your colleagues, at least next year, you have to show them how to be able to take a content that they want to teach and how to use that for teaching the strategies. You need to be able to take a content and let them see where they can make opportunities. Like I did with the boy yesterday. It wasn't enough for me to say, make a picture. If I'd said make a picture, he still wouldn't have been able to say, you know, there's no chance. I had to intervene. And so this is where you'll need to be really active in intervening. So there are the three outcomes. And these are mentioned halfway down the first, uh, the first page. To plan and scaffold how you'll 